This is the business culture of agriculture. My name is Andy Junkin, and with me tonight is Andrew Mayer of uh, Granular.ag. And uh, Granular.ag is, is what I perceive as the newest and latest and greatest uh, farm management software out there. It's a fairly new build with all the data information on the cloud. Um, Andrew, uh, describe in 30 seconds what uh, Granular is about. Hey guys, thanks for having me, Andy. So Granular, we have, we serve two distinct and very interrelated markets. On one hand, we have one, we have a product called Granular, farm management software, which serves the farming market. And the intention there is to help make, help you run a more profitable farm. The other product that we have is called Acre Value, and that serves the farmland market. And so that product helps professional farmers and um, professional landowners, uh, especially farmers, get bigger, make their operation bigger. So those are our, the two products that we have. Um, I'll take a little tour through uh, through these products that'd, right now. That'd be really good. Show us what you got. That'd be great. All right. So you can find both of these products on our website. Um, and so I'm going to first give you a little tour of Acre Value. That one's a little bit less dense. So this is our product that helps you get um, expand your operation. So I think of our products as serving two distinct functions, right? The farm management software helps you get better on a more profitable farm. The farmland valuation tool and prospect, prospecting tool, Acre Value, helps you get bigger. So Acre Value is a, um, so there, there, there's a free version of Acre Value, and you can go to this right now. Um, there's farmland valuation, comp sales, um, and um, other information for the lower 48. So we're not in Canada yet, but we are, um, we are going to be very soon. I, I um, suggest you explore it though, because you can get a, a taste for what, um, what we're doing and um, get, get a feel for the kind of data that we offer. There's also a paid version that all of the farm management software users get for free, but the paid version allows you to essentially search for, um, do advanced search functions on parcels based on landlords, um, soil types, uh, recently grown crops, uh, valuation, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the Acre Value tool. So that's acrevalue.com. And that started, uh, that has a, a fun genesis, uh, started by a um, Iowa farm kid in his garage. Um, you know, the parents were, uh, and he and his family were trying to decide, um, keep or sell the farm. If they sell the farm, what should they sell it for? Um, he realized uh, there was no no good site where he could access, hey, what the heck are, people valuing farmland around me. Um, so that's the evolution of, of Acre Value and um, really fun, easy to use tool. Suggest you check it out, even though it's just in the lower 48 right now. Um, okay, here's our other piece of software. Um, you, want, you want to hit screen share? Oh, gosh, so sorry, guys. Yep. So, um, yeah, you didn't miss a whole lot. I, I just kept it on, on this screen. Um, yeah. Acrevalue.com, really fun tool to um, to play around with. And um, again, there's a, a free and a paid version. And the farm management software users get the paid version as part of the whole package. Okay, here is um, the farm management software. So this is the um, this is the enterprise software uh, for small, medium, large farms. Uh, we work with farms all across Canada and the United States, and um, we um, so we serve the distinct segments of farms who are trying to get better. Um, and I, it, it sounds like everyone who's watching this uh, generally falls into that segment. So um, what I mean by that is we want to help you run a more profitable farm. So we focus on distinct areas that we feel like can help you make that happen. The way I segment this market in my mind, and um, I know everyone does this a little bit differently, is that there are two distinct types of software out there right now and um, uh, that's serving the, the farming market. And um, just very generally, there are those that are focused on agronomy. So there are, um, that's your, your, uh, your climates, your farmer's edges, your, um, 
uh, Agrian and, um, and others who help you with nitrogen modeling, when to apply and where. And obviously that, um, that technology is um, evolving and becoming better and better by the day, still a work in progress. Um, and then, so that is the agronomy side. We are not agro agronomically focused, though we work with agronomic packages. We are the business operations package. So the, um, we help you manage your team. So we help make you more efficient in the field by uh, managing your tasks and managing your team through work orders and get the real time flow of data and record capture back from the field. We help you manage your, um, your inventory, your inputs and your crops so that you can control what your inventory level, levels are, not overpay, catch billing errors, um, make sure that you get paid for your crop, um, your crop deliveries and your settlements uh, after harvest. We help you tie this all together. Um, the hub of our, of our software is um, our financial analysis. So we tie all of your, all of your field work um, and we, for every task, for everything that you do on a field, we can tie that back to a field in real time and give you a running forecast throughout the year of the profitability of that field, focusing specifically on your cost drivers um, above the contribution margin line. So anything that has to do with the direct cost, inputs, labor, um, equipment, and, and um, anything around that, and of course your revenue, we capture that, tie it back to the field, and help you understand in real time where where you're trending at with your forecast. That is the hub. And then on the other side, other end of this, we have a host of reports that help you communicate with your third parties, your landlords, um, your uh, your your local government office. Um, you know, in the U.S., we have the FSA, right? So we have a lot of FSA reporting. Um, help you connect with um, prospective landlords. We help you connect with um, with the third parties around your farm. The last thing I want to say about is uh, just to expand upon this idea of connections is we work um, well. We work very closely with a lot of third party. Um, you know, players, uh, one of whom is John Deere. And um, so John Deere recently made their API available to um, publicly available. So we connect seamlessly with John Deere equipment and pull in as applied and planting and harvest files as they come off the field. Um, if you have a, a telematic system, then we can plug in and grab that um, through the cloud and connect with that as, as it happens. Um, really cool. Um, so that plays um, that plays really nicely with our task management and work order system as well, where you can manage the team and um, you know get the data flow back from them, and or have the data flowing back from John Deere as well to match up, audit, verify, and um, you know help you manage your operation in a more robust manner. So the operations, the financials, inputs, crops, and reports all tie together right to help you run, make it easier to run a more profitable farm. That's uh, that's my thirty second pitch uh, expanded to a, uh, you know, I don't know what that was a lot longer than thirty seconds. <laughs> I I like it. So I mean, I'm going to ask you a very basic couple of questions. If you're um, say a cash cropper who does a lot of uh, either renting uh, from landlords or or has um, sharecropping relationships with the with the uh, with local landowners, um, how can um, this be the use of your tool be used as a customer advantage, um, you know, whether you're looking at the landowners whom you're sharecropping with as a customer. Like in Western Ontario, where I'm from, you know, we're yeah. paying we're paying close to four hundred dollars an acre rent. Yeah, it's 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 absolutely insane. And yeah. so you know, uh, you have to be on your toes as far as figuring out a, a competitive edge as far as having a relationship with local landowners and there'd be nothing they'd love more than knowing exactly that hour if you're if you're combining the field as to what the yields are and uh what kind of uh financial uh what does that mean financially for them yeah uh, um yeah we in um in the u.s uh, same uh, um where you are andy in ontario and just uh, really we i hear all across canada all across the U.S., land rents are high. Um, you know, the farm farmland market is really competitive. Um, it kind of felt like it was going to start to dissipate a little bit. It's not. 
Um, you know, even with the low commodity prices, it feels like it's more competitive than ever. So yeah, um, we, I, I do believe that, um, farmers more than ever need that close connection with their landlords. Um, yeah. and, and so obviously super biased, I uh, think that granular is a great tool to help you connect with your landlords and give them confidence in what they're doing. So your landlords can see your plans, see, um, see your updates in real time as you go through the season. And, um, you know, I didn't just, I don't own land personally, but if I did, um, if I were lucky enough to, I would think, okay, I would, I want to feel really confident in my farmer, you know, and understand, you know, know that um, they're going to come out on the other side of this year um, in a good position. And so obviously if anything you can do to inspire your landlord um, and give them confidence and that gives you an advantage um, because um, right. It's a, um, I, I feel like everyone feels like it's a, things are a little bit up in the air in the last couple of years and going forward. Um, not quite sure where, where my farmers might be at. Um, so yeah, a tool like granular um, granular specifically um, helps you connect with your landlords. And, um, and we feel like that really is a, um, a very powerful tie in for farmers to have. So, um, and of course, the the other view on that is the acre value tool. So where you can help connect with new landlords. What what is uh now what are you pricing uh, uh for for granular? Um how does a farmer pay for it? Do they have to pay four thousand bucks up front or do they pay by the acre? How does that work um as far as the pricing model is concerned? Yeah, we generally charge um in the realm of two to three dollars an acre. So it's by crop. Um, it can potentially be lower um, for some crops and potentially be higher for some crops. In your neck of the woods, it'll um, it would definitely fall in the around the two to potentially three dollars an acre bucket. Um, now we um, we we typically ask for um, a one time payment per year, but we also have other modes that we can work with. Um, that is, yeah, we're yeah can be flexible on the on the timing, but, um, it's a, it's in per acre fee. Now, now, okay. Let's say you put three bucks, let's uh, just hot, round it up to three boxes for, for, uh, argument's sake. How are you guys going to provide uh, between a nine and $10, uh, cost advantage uh, to the farmer? Uh, give me like three or four ways that the farmer is going to squeeze that extra uh, 10 bucks per acre as a result of using your software and being able to analyze the numbers. Right. Um, for me, it's really easy to say um, because I have, um, you know, it in my role, um, I lead our what is called our customer success team. So I lead the team that connects directly with our customer base. So every one of my customer success managers um, works personally with 30 to 40 of our customers. And that is, um, you know, that is that's what we do. So I say we live and breathe um, your pain, your success, um, your happiness. So what I hear. Um, uh, very specifically, the anecdotes that constantly come back is through inventory, we help people catch billing errors. This is a super, um, this is a very uh, common occurrence when when your input supplier delivers or doesn't deliver your inputs. Obviously, you get a, um, a post delivery invoice and um, being able to capture the delivery um, in again in real time as, as it's coming in and being delivered and then later match that up to the invoice um, Very typically all of our customers find Stake every year um, on the order of if you're 4,000 acres, right? You're spending a lot of money on inputs. These deliveries can be very costly um, And I have multiple anecdotes where people are catching 30 forty thousand dollar billing mistakes. That's one way another way is um, and I love how one of our farmers put this to, um, yeah, you know, phrase this is granular helps his, um, <laughs> helps his team, uh, come go, um, go apart in the morning. So it's not the coming together and meeting in the morning. That's the problem. Um, at least not on his farm. And I hear this on a lot of farms, it's the leaving and going apart. So with the old way on his farm, um, everyone, every morning used to meet, uh, mingle, uh, really have a hard time rolling out. Nowadays, um, everyone knows exactly what they're going to do. The level of communication is way higher. And so, yeah, as you can imagine, the efficiency in the job flow is just, it's just um, far superior and faster. So, you know, they're a big part of what we do is task management. 
and um, organize the work that people need to do and communicate amongst the team where they need to go, um, exactly how much they need to spray. On the other end of that, the other way that you're going to cap recapture um, some of your money, some of the low hanging fruit is being able to easily compare on your field versus what you just did. We just had a customer who, as the task was coming back into the system, noticed that the operator had sprayed at double the rate. You know, lo and behold, this actually turned out to be, as she was going back through her records, turned out to be a problem um, in multiple accounts. She caught it in real time and was able to adjust, right, going forward. So just having that real-time managerial control and, and just noticing that, hey, we are applying far more than we than we expected to. And you can imagine those, I mean, this was a really large field. So that was that was a, a very costly overspray. That happens again and again and again and again, either with your crew or the third parties that you source with. That's um that 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 adds up to big money. Um then the fourth way um is we in our financials, what we allow you to do is compare the profitability based on what, you know, not only how they compare to one another, but how that field should be doing based on its historical yield and its potential and the land rates that you pay. So we help you match up, organize, dissect, you know, where your outliers are. Where are you paying way too much for land? Where are you paying, um, where are you just uh, serially under yielding and not making enough money on those pieces of land? That's the power the granular brings to your farm um, so that you can easily identify these outliers and eliminate them. I mean, they're, all of us, well, I'm not a farmer, but all, all of our farmers, um, we know that we're farming ground that is not worth it. Um, but until you see the data, until it's empirically in front of your eyes, it's uh, it's easy to ignore. So those are those are some of the low hanging fruit that um, that we capture. So um, that's just the start. But um, th those are the ones that are easy for me to wrap my head around, at least. Okay, describe the task management uh, a component of your software a little bit. Do a little bit of a demo there. That'd be great. Okay. Yeah, I'd love to um, just tour you through at a high level. I won't get uh, too far into the into the weeds, um, especially because most of it is on my mobile app, which um, I don't currently have a cord to uh, sure. uh, project. Um, Google Hangouts isn't. Yeah. In that way, um, but let me let me give you a little tour through the mobile um, through the web app and show you what the web component is. Um, and. Let me share my screen again. So in granular, um, so you can get as um, as deep into the task management and the planning for your task management as you want. Um, so our customers span the range of um, mainly doing unplanned work um, to mainly planning <laughs> to planning out everything to a T, trying to follow that to a T, and um, trying to capture any discrepancy um, as it as it happens. So. In the app, what you do is you build crop plans and you apply them to fields. So I'll just show you um, very mechanically what, what you do there. So the crop plans um, on your that you build are comprised of um, the, the general tasks that you're going to do on a field throughout the year. So you can get as involved in the in this part of and this is generally at the planning stage as you want. The, the more detailed you plan, obviously, the um, as you're doing this, you're building your input shopping list, you're building your um, your financial projections, your budgets um, based on the you know the rates, the acreage of the field, and the prices that you specify for all that. As you so you're building your 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 input shopping list, your budgeting, and um, you're also building your your task um, potential tasks. So um, in each crop plan, which is tied to a field, you have your list of tasks. These tasks then you would um, assign to an operator to fulfill. So what you would, um, what you would do um, is for every one of these tasks, create a work order and have, you know, send that, the work order then gets sent to the operator's mobile app. On the mobile app, you can add, edit, delete, change it up, um, however, it, however you need to, and then fulfill the tasks. And we help you capture records 
um, such as how much did I apply, how many hours did your operator work, what machinery did you use, and for how long. And so you can get as deep into this as you want, or keep it very light level. The deep, the more detailed you are, obviously, the more and um, the more data you capture, the more effectively you're going to be able to capture your costs. Um, you can also do this for um, as applied planting and harvest tasks through machine data. Um, that's not true task management though, right? Um, so, you know, that you can capture your costs um, that way as well. I do wanna specify there's an alternative workflow. So we do have also several tools in the app to help you manage your tasks. So one of which is um, simply a map dashboard where you can visualize your fields, um, visualize the overlay of your crops and, um, you know, this time of year, I don't know if I have any impending um, tasks, but this uh, one of the views here helps you understand what what am I what is going what am I supposed to do what what do I have planned for a specific period of time? Um, so if you hover into your fields, also you can pull up the um, you know uh, what what do I intend to grow on this field this year? Um, and that was. Actually, that was for 2016, which is overlapping a bit with um, with this other plan. So again, you can um, you can visualize, view, assign your work orders from this page, um, and if you have a a, a little bit of a larger crew um, or even a smaller crew, you can use our scheduling tool, which helps you easily um, bulk. Uh, assign tasks to your operators in the field. So this is a this is a scheduling tool um, similar to others you might find, um, you know, it, it, at the enterprise level um, to help you just bulk assign and manage your um, your labor crew. And um, so then again, this all leads into the mobile app. So anything, anytime you assign a work order in the web app, automatically flows through to the operator's mobile app. Um, which is super easy to use, and um, you know, once they once they start their work order, it um, you have that insight in real time. So you know exactly what people are doing. There's an activity feed, um, really enhances communication across the farm. Okay, and I had to, I had to describe your uh, your and inventory. And inventory. I mean, I mean, I mean, your uh, your uh, budgeting and budgeting. Yeah. what can you do? Yeah, so for on the inventory and procurement side, um, so we help you capture your prepays, we help you manage your deliveries, we help you um, understand where your current inventory balances are. So another benefit of using um, using granular is that every time you complete a task, and you know your uh, be it j you're completing tasks with machine data or through the mobile app, um, we the drawdown of your inventory. So we know how much you applied, that automatically flows out of your inventory. So you, again, have real-time insight into what you need. We help you understand how much you're going to need in the next several weeks, month, and, and compare that to what you have in inventory so that you never run out. Um, I know that ends up being a really costly, um, you know, time crunch specifically when you're, you're in the heat of planting and you need to get a lot done. Um, in a short time window. So the inventory management flow um, on the inputs uh, works through from procurement through application. Then on the other side, the inventory management on the, um, you know, on the grain and crop storage side helps you understand what you have in your inventory at that time, what you've hauled against your contracts to your, to your customers, understand where you're at in terms of settlement against those contracts. So that's, um, that's on the other side. And then, um, Budgeting, I think, was the other question. Budgeting is the question, yeah. Right. So, um, so uh, like, I, how much you, what kind of analysis can you do? Yeah. So I talked through conceptually, right, how we build our budget. I showed you those those field plans. They have a bunch of tasks. Those tasks have information about what you plan to apply, how long you might plan to do it. Those things have costs. That's what builds your budget per field. That rolls up to an enterprise um, and give you a, a very quick tour of this, um, and in fact, this is something that we're enhancing right now and set to have a, a big um, a big rollout uh, relatively soon that I'm excited about. But again, at, at a very basic cut, um, what we do is help you 
understand those budget projections and the beginning of the year, what your budgeted costs are. And then as you roll through the year, we, um, we have a rolling forecast so that you understand, you know, where you might come out on the end. And then of course, at the end of the year, just your actual, um, what did I actually do? Um, so we help you understand where your, where, where your position is on an enterprise level and on a field level. And you can slice and dice this by uh, a lot of manners under the sun. Um, and uh, like I said, we have a lot of really exciting uh, functionality coming out on the financial um, analysis and insight um, side. A lot around what should I pay for this land, give you fodder to um, better negotiate, um, help you understand what land is worth it to continue farming and what land isn't. Um, so, um, yeah, we don't just, I, I do want to um, be clear, we don't just stop at budgeting. It's budget, forecast, actual at the end of the year. Okay. Well, I, you know, for a larger operation, I think this is uh, this goal. You know, I think it's uh, this is quite the software. And uh, I really appreciate you um, uh, giving us your time. A Andrew, you had uh, laryngitis just yesterday, I believe. So I uh, really appreciate you coming on the show. Um, is there anything else that you want to add that, uh, that uh, farmers have really found interesting about your software in the past year as far as new, new updates? Yeah. Um, yeah. One thing I did, I did want to say um, is we do work with a very wide range of operations. We have a lot of customers towards the 2000 acre range. We have a lot of customers um, who are, you know, 10, 15 times that, but we, we, um, we work with a very wide range of, uh, of professionally minded farms. You know, I found that's the key ingredient across all of this. I want to be able to get better. I want to manage what I have better. Um, uh, what people have been really excited about lately, um, we have introduced um, some really nice utility on mobile app, which helps you um, helps uh, operators easily enter their hauling, all of their hauling activity um, helps, you know, uh, at the end of the year on your farm, right? You might be hauling, if you have grain storage, you might be hauling out a lot. Gives the, uh, the uh, managers and the ops managers a lot of insight into <clears throat> what the operators are doing and really just again like is one of those greasing of the wheels so that you know before it used to be like constant check-in what should I haul what should I haul against now it's so easy people are just you know flowing through these farms um, and able to capture that so easily um, that's been really exciting a lot of uh, a lot of enhancements in terms of inventory management a lot of unit flexibility which I'm particularly excited about helps people store and manage their inventory exactly as they need um, and capture that whole flow. So, um, you know, we're on the verge of, uh, like I said, some um, heralded financial analysis tools, which um, as we've been showing our customers, um, it is a showstopper. So really excited for that. And I, I think the final comment I just want to make, uh, Andrew, thanks very much. Uh, first of all, how can people go to those two different websites? Could you mention those again? Yeah, just, so um, you really just need to go to one and you can get to everywhere you need by going to granular.ag. Um, you can check out a little bit more about the product. Um, it's uh, admittedly, you know, got a lot of marketing messaging there. Um, this, what I just shared was a little more raw and off the cuff. Um, check out what people are saying. Uh, we write a lot. So we, not a, it's not only us, but we work with um, people in the industry, Bruce Sherrick, Danny Kleinfelter, um, Lance Woodbury, they, they write. Um, we work with a lot of people who contribute to our blog. Um, you can also get to, that, to the Acre Value tool, which is, again, free, um, just by clicking on this link. And um, if you want a demo, um, you just click on the book down, get a demo or book a demo link. Um, you don't have to worry. We'll call you right away. <laughs> um, we have a we have a team team of uh, eager people who always want to talk with um, people that we haven't talked with. And, and, I, and again, that's granular dot egg. What's your phone number there um, if people want to get a hold of you? Yeah. Um, so give me a call at area code five three zero eight four four one seven nine nine. I love talking with um, with farmers. Um, I'm, it's uh, obviously my day um, but you can also um, just uh, on the about um, uh, page find more contact info if, if need be and, and uh, again your name is Andrew Meyer with granular.egg um, I just I guess my final comment is is this um, 
you know, obviously I think you can just find a lot of operational improvements and efficiencies. I also think that it's a really good um, tool. If you're a 2,000 acre cash cropper and you want to become, someday you want to become a 10,000 acre cash cropper, um, you know, I think uh, if you have a lot of crop share arrangements, it can be a really effective tool uh, to be able to expand your um, your, uh, your acreage. I mean, simply put, if you are the most astute as far as having the most advanced technology, that's a factor that is not the only factor, but that is a factor that um, landlords uh, take when, when considering who to have a sharecropping arrangement with. Um, but more importantly, I think, you know, you're, what we didn't talk about is that, you know, I have a lot of farms that are 2,000, 3,000 acre operations. And realistically, Andrew, you know, um, your, uh, your, your average operation is 4,000 plus, I imagine, at this stage, right? But I think for a 2,000 acre operation, if they adapt your software, because you can purchase it based on the per acre cost, it really helps you understand how successful farms work. Yeah. Uh, uh, able to, if you're able to utilize every aspect of, of your platform, you're getting the same, you're getting an inside uh, scoop in, as to how a 10,000 acre operator thinks. And you're able to find new operational efficiencies as a result of that. Yeah. It will cause you to look at your farm in a different way. And not just yourself, but it causes, if you can get all your family members tied into the software, you can get your whole family thinking that way, which will help you grow successfully in the future. And I think that's, that's a pretty important point. Um, with me tonight was Andrew Mayer of uh, Granular Dog Egg. I just really thank you for being on the show. And uh, my name is Andy Junkin, and this has been the Business Culture of Agriculture here at agriculturestrategy.com. Thanks, Andy.